and welcome back to another Tales of Tribute game. Uh, going second this time, let's see what my opponent picks first. Um, I'm gonna pick Alessia, of course, and I just haven't quite decided what my second patron will be yet. I guess it sort of depends on what my opponent picks. Um, I'm interested in Druid King. Uh, Regine's also nice. I, I, you know, one thing I've never done is I've never got the Chimera before. Okay, well, my opponent picks Druid King, so that's fine. Well, let's try Regine. Um, I'm kind of interested in getting the Chimera card from the Druid King passive. Like, I feel like that's never shown up ever in my entire time of playing Tales of Tribute. Uh, and I really would like to see it. But combo 4 and combo 5 are pretty hard to achieve with Druid King. Druid King is not really a combo heavy deck, I found. If you go very heavy into Druid King, like, it has just zero card draw, and it's... it's it's uh, It generates gold, but not much else. So, anyway. If we can get a Chimera off this game, we'll try for it. Opponent doesn't pick anything, so we go with Pellet. Alright, sure. Uh, Rajin's also not not a very strong deck, I feel. It has some good cards. It generates lots of gold, but the card draw, it, it's um, it's it's a very interesting deck that I think I might need to play a bit more of. That one's a very bad agent to pick up. It only generates one gold. Like, I would never pick that. I would have used the Alessia power by my opponent. Uh, barter away something good? Nope, they're all bad cards, so we, have to, we can just ignore all of them. Uh, starting off with that Rajin 4 gold card means we're incredibly favored right now, like we can just afford any expensive cards. The tavern right now is full of cheap cards, so there's not much to say, but uh, you know, if my opponent buys something or I barter something away, we will start to be able to afford very expensive cards uh, very, very soon. I feel like my opponent should have just used the Saint Alessia power instead of buying that Rajin agent. But the thing about Saint Alessia is people are not used to playing this deck. And uh, Saint Alessia... Um, the, the the fact that you have this extra option available to shuffle a extra agent, extra Alessia card into your deck, that, that's not terrible early game. It's something that a lot of people miss, and I think I would uh, be quite annoyed if my opponent had that, certainly. Uh, Priestess of the Eight is a high priority pick for us. Uh, it's There's not much card draw available in the patrons. It's only Priestess of the Eight, essentially. Like, Druid King doesn't draw cards. Rajin draws cards with um, the, the, the tavern actions but it's not reliable, and Pellet doesn't really draw cards unless you get a rally, so it's basically Alessia that we're looking for to draw the cards. Unfortunately, we don't get that, so uh, we're going to have to sh suffer a bit. Um, picking up a lot of uh, Pellet cards because, I mean, these are not bad. These are 3 power if you get a combo off. Um, the combo is not guaranteed, which is the problem, but um, yeah, 3 power if you combo off them. Perfectly reasonable pickups, but our deck is starting to get very big right now, and uh, I would really like to get some donating things on... Uh, can I really ignore the Grand Larceny though? I'm not so sure about that. I don't think I can ignore Grand Larceny. That's just too good to ignore. Like, come on. It's, it's 4 gold. It's 4 gold and kills agents. Like, it's just gonna be very useful against my opponent. I mean, my opponent did pick up, it, it, it may pick up some agents more, some more agents in the future, so... Uh, something to keep note of. Now, um, opponent is a little close to patron victory. He's 2 away, but uh, the Pelin one is quite hard to get off, so... Um, not much to see there. Our opponent did pick up Mori House, uh, so that that's uh, it's not bad. It's good again if we if we pick up any agents. Uh, but we have a lot of agent killing right now. We have two good Rajin cards that uh, pretty much make a joke of agents. Not quite White Strike level, but these are these are like even if you're not as good as White Strike, that's still a very good that's still a very high bar. Uh, these are all bad cards. Uh, let's hope he barters away for some, something good. Uh, Moon Illusion, yeah, let's pick that up. Moonlit Illusion is good, because uh, our deck is way too big right now, and we need to get rid of all these gold coins. Get rid of those cards for free. Let's uh, start using our extra gold to buy some useful cards. Uh, Shield Bearer, he's probably going to buy get the Mori House next turn, so I don't really want to pick up the Shield Bearer, but we still have tons of gold, so let's see what else. Uh, these are all not... I don't think that's very good. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't draw cards. I can't... Uh, these are all really bad cards. Okay, fine. Uh, we got lots of extra gold. Let's just do this and that. I mean, Black Moon might review something good. Reviews a rally. That's really good. Um, unfortunately, we drew all our um, we drew all our Rajin four gold cost card last turn. So we, we're not gonna get a rally this turn. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, he's a little closer to Patron Victory right now, so this worries me a bit. He needs to use Rajin twice, which is uh, not easy because Rajin costs a lot of gold. Um, but um, he might want to shuffle away the Whispers of the Grove in case he's scared that I pick up the Rally. No, he doesn't. Okay, fine. Uh, unfortunately, we don't... Yeah, no, he shuffles away the Rally. It, 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 was, it was definitely a risk that he had to consider. So shuffling the Rally is a good, good point. Good move. Um, Priest of the Eight is what we want to pick up for sure. The main thing that we're worried about is if he randomly picks up like a Tithe or something. And the Tithe just like 
brings us uh, uh, double patron victory. So yeah, we, I think we are going to use our St. Pelin power. It's not a good... I don't think it's that great a use of St. Pelin power because two gold is a real cost. But uh, uh, it, it, it takes us slightly further away from the brink. I don't really want to be losing to patron victory uh, randomly at some point in time. So he does that again. Like, what's he bringing back? He's bringing back his Mori house? Is, is that what he's doing? Uh, okay, I, I, I'm holding deck is not very focused right now. I and he buys that, which I don't think is a good, very good combo either. Yeah, these are he shuffles something away so I can buy something good. Uh, yeah, second priestess. Let's let's go with second priestess. Um, with two priestess of the eight, I think it becomes much much easier to start getting our pellet combos going. Like all these three gold combos. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get them running and can buy that priestess next. So things are going great. Let's kill that Jeering Shadow because it's very annoying. And uh, let's let's do this again because I don't really want to uh, lose the Patron Victory. And also, it's also th th this is actually not a bad use of Palin because as you can see, I would have drawn pretty much nothing that interesting this turn. Uh, but with the Priestess of the Eight, we can turn some of these gold cards into better cards. And we got a free Reggie Juice out of it as well. And I think we can probably pick up that Banneret, which would be uh, very, very useful. My opponent's deck is quite big right now. He only has one Mari House. Uh, and basically, I, I think that that makes the banner right worth it. Like, like just look at this. It's um, uh, if we can pick that up, which with which we can, thanks to our use of our uh, priestess of the eight. Uh, I think banner. I think it's. A, I think we need we need a way to win this game. And uh, right now, our win condition was basically just slowly drawing all our very cheap paladin cards. Now we got a very big and fancy paladin card to start messing with our opponent. So, ah, uh, oh boy, this is like. I drew nothing this turn. Yeah, I, I really need to find more, you know, rag pickers or something to get rid of all these cards or something to toss away cards. Harvest season is nice. He doesn't kill my priestess of the eight. That's a mistake. Uh, that's not something you want to be letting me get away with. So that's some. Let's draw. Let's let's harvest season and see what you draw into. Nothing. Oh my god, these are all really. These are all real nothing cards right here. Um, what do I do with all this gold? Another grand lar. I, I do. I don't think I need another grand larceny. Uh, but I like uh, this. This is like a yeah. And shuffled out the curse into a stack. Why not? Just to try to screw it a bit more. Yeah. This is like so much gold. Nothing to do with it. Very very awkward kind of situation here. He yeah. That portcullis is not a good card. Like it's an early game rushing card. But if you, the more cards you pick in your deck, the less you're gonna draw it. And uh, yeah, my opponent is uh, is uh, very very unfavorite right now. Now he might get. Um, we're just gonna get a super combo right now. He might be able to pick up uh, the Mori House that will kill my guy. But uh, yeah, I, I could have shuffled the tavern just for fun. Let's uh, like the the question is, am I gonna lose to Patron Victory? I think it's quite hard now. Like uh, he's three, he, he needs to use Regine twice and Pelin once to get to Patron Victory. So I I could have used Alessia to try to get him even further away from that. Uh, but at this point, I think it's fine to just keep shuffling curses into his deck. It's going to be quite annoying for him to deal with all these curses. I mean, he's been buying some very unimpressive cards that I don't think are very good, really. So, And he doesn't even have enough power to kill my banneret, so that's another 3 power for me. Uh, we're going to we're gonna generate a lot of gold this turn without pounds and profit. Uh, hopefully our Priestess of the Eight can shuffle into some good, better cards. I'm just looking for... I'm basically looking for my uh, my uh, Pelin cards that generate power. Once we once we draw up a couple of those, then then things are going to go much better for us. Yeah, uh, they're also generating us so much so much gold as well. But I can't I can't really use this gold on anything. I think I think buying more gold buying more gold is actually uh, buying more things from the tavern is actually harmful for my deck. Like none of these are good. None of these generate any power. I just want to generate power or draw cards. Draw my draw to my Pelin cards. So uh, ten gold down the drain. Uh, been unfortunate. I've I've used the Regine power a lot by now though. So now every time he plays, uh, what, what, when he draw when he when he starts his next draw, it's going to be very very bad. And we're we're, we're so far ahead at this point, 28 to two. Uh, he still was not able. To, he only just managed to kill our banneret. Now we might even be able to draw it um, again uh, if we use the pellet power, uh, which I think is perfectly reasonable use. Uh, rally, yeah. Uh, or or we can just buy the rally. Uh, that works too. Yeah, I think I think buying the rally sounds good. Um, hmm. We could have used our legion's arrival and reinforcements to and then the pellet power to shuffle the banneret to the top of the deck and then draw the banneret. 
uh, that's quite something that I, I might, might, might have been something to consider that I think would have been quite useful. Anyway, time to kill all these agents. Uh, it, did, it did cost us a bit there. Uh, let's use our Alessia power just to seal the deal. Two more two more power just to try to win the game a bit faster. Uh, we don't manage to draw our banner, our rally or our banneret. They're still somewhere at the top, uh, still waiting around for something. Uh, opponent reads a Rings Guile. That's going to destroy my opponent if he lets me get that off. Because um, that's going to combo with my Rajin really well and force him to discard cards, let me draw cards. So things are not looking good for opponent. He draws, he uses the pellet power to get a uh, more house, I guess. Not entirely sure, but yeah, it's time, to time to start donating. He should have killed my Priestess of the Eight. It's a big mistake not to do that. And uh, because of that, I'm going to do that, 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 either Ring Skyle, force my opponent. Uh, we can knock out his agent, draw our other Regine card, which I know we're going to draw. Uh, because uh, our deck is pretty much the remaining two. Kill, and that will get the last Regine combo going. Minus, that's the... That, Force him to discard two more cards, and um, yeah, there's nothing much he can do at this point. Uh, Patron victory is also there's no way he's getting Patron victory after discarding two cards this turn. Uh, that's just not possible. So uh, yeah, this game uh, maybe not that interesting. Um, I mean, he, my opponent should have done a lot of things differently. He should have killed my priest of the eight. He should have bought. Yeah, but uh, from the start, from the start, I was pretty favorite getting that Regine card early. So uh, yeah, unfortunately our rank not going up very much. Once you're at the top, the, the the decay, like you win like ten points every game and lose a hundred points for every loss. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching.